In this session, let us look at the fundamentals of profit and loss. The example given is Raja buys a shirt at rupees 100 and sells it at 120. So this buying price is called cost price. The short form is CP. This 120 at which it is sold, any item being sold is called selling price or in short SP. So, based on this cost price and selling price, we can infer whether it is a profit or gain or it is a loss. If cost price is less than selling price, then it means it is a profit or it or gain. The profit is given by the formula selling price minus cost price. If cost price is greater than selling price, then it is a loss. The loss is calculated using the formula cost price minus selling price. In this example, the selling price is greater than the cost price because the shirt is bought at 100 rupees and sold at 120 rupees. So, in this example, it is a profit or gain. Because the selling price is greater than cost price, we can calculate the profit as 120 minus 100 which is 20 rupees. Let us look at another example. The shopkeeper bought a dress at rupees 200 and sold it for 190. Here cost price is 200. Selling price is 190. So selling price is less than cost price. Hence it is a loss. So loss is calculated by the formula cost price minus selling price which is 200 minus 190. So the loss is rupees 10. Profit percentage is defined as profit e multiplied by 100 divided by cost price. In this example, the cost price is 100 rupees and the selling price is 120 rupees. So the profit is selling price minus cost price which is rupees 20. So we calculate the profit percentage using the formula given above. So profit is 20 divided by cost price which is 100 and we multiply that by 100. So the 100 cancel out and the profit percentage is 20 percent. Let's look at this example. The cost price is rupees 200 and the selling price is rupees 190. Because the selling price is less than cost price, it is a loss. So, loss is calculated by the formula cost price minus selling price. So, loss is 200 minus 190 equal to rupees 10. Now, using the formula loss percentage equal to loss by cost price into 100, loss is 10. So, 10 by 200 into 100. So the last percentage is 